Hey, Walt here from WaltonPA.com as well as StogieReview.com with another Shooting the Breeze video. And this time I want to do uh, a review on uh, a belt that I purchased. Um, and this sort of revolves around concealed carry and, and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what led up to my purchase and, you know, and then we'll talk about the belt itself. Now, first off, uh, what actually prompted this review was uh, kind of a nagging retailer. Now, if you've ever purchased through Amazon and, and the product actually shipped through a third-party retailer, um, sometimes you get like one or two nagging emails. You know, they show up in your inbox say, hey, you know, I, we, we, we shipped your order. You should have received it. Why don't you give us some feedback on the item or, or write a product review and this and that. And, uh, you know, a lot of times I always forget to do it. And, you know, and the nagging stops at that. Well. With, uh, with the retailer that I purchased from, which was not through Amazon, it was uh, Hank's Clothing, I think I've gotten three emails now on, on getting me to write this, write this product review. And, uh, and I was getting kind of annoyed, and then I thought, you know what, let's do this on my terms. I'll, uh, I'll record a video for my blog, and you know, I'll, I'll just do it my way. We'll, we'll post it on my blog, and you know, maybe I'll do the write-up portion on Hank's Clothing website. But, uh, but you know, let's actually make something of this product that I purchased and you know let's, let's just kind of share my opinion so before we get into the actual product um, I want to talk about what led up to my purchase now uh, a while back I did a review on my first pistol which was a Beretta model 70 s which was manufactured in the mid 70s I believe based on the serial number now when I purchased that gun I wanted to get a holster for it so that I could carry it concealed. Now the problem with a, with a gun that's manufactured so long ago is that there aren't very many holsters available. What I wound up doing was, was purchasing a, just a generic holster for a 3 inch barrel from Midway USA and I was really unhappy with it. And when I finally purchased my Springfield XD for concealed carry, uh, I decided I was not going to go that generic route and that I was going to buy a good quality holster. So what I did was I ended up going to um, Crossbreed Holsters and I ordered the, the Crossbreed Super Tuck, Super Tuck Deluxe and I've been really, really happy with it. So here is the, the holster. It's a Crossbreed Super Tuck Deluxe as I mentioned and a Springfield XD subcompact and just for safety's sake there is no magazine inside the gun and the chamber is empty. So, um, the the gun itself weighs about 28 ounces, and it's you know it's it's it's, it's a fairly heavy gun, especially when you're carrying it on the on the waist. And the holster is just this big leather mat with uh, a Kydex uh, holster, uh, you know, portion that holds the gun, plastic. And uh, it's got two of these big metal clips. This slips down inside your pants, and the clips. Uh, slip down over top of the belt and they capture it and uh, prevents the holster from riding up. Now when I purchased this this holster you know one of the things that I read a lot of was that you should buy a good quality gun belt <clears throat> so that your your gun stays put whenever you're when, whenever you're moving around and stuff the gun stays put it doesn't ride out or anything and you know looking at some of the pricing on belts I, I really shied away from from buying a good quality gun belt because you know they seem to start at about fifty dollars and then they go up from there um, you know you can get a good quality leather belt for about fifty bucks or you can get a kydex reinforced or a plastic reinforced belt you know for about eighty bucks and you know I, I was really hesitant to spend that kind of money on a belt when all my life I've been going to Target or Walmart and just picking up a leather belt you know they don't last for very long uh, you know maybe I'm just hard on belts but um, they tend to last about a year and then they need to be replaced Well, that mindset didn't change when I purchased my holster, and I was actually using this belt that I just recently replaced, which was, it's really nothing special. Uh, it's not very thick, it's very, very flexible. Um, it's about an inch and a quarter tall, and I think I paid about $15 for it at Target. Now, when I purchased it at Target, I was kind of under the impression that it was a heavy-duty belt because it was the it was the biggest, beefiest belt they had, and it had this double stitching across it, you know, and I, I was just kind of under the impression that, uh, the camera's not going to focus. Isn't that wonderful? At any rate, 
Um, it had this, it's got this kind of stitching across the middle and, and you know, just I thought, oh, well, you know, that's, you know, it's, it's some kind of reinforcement, you know, the belt will do well. And, uh, you know, right away I got kind of annoyed with it. Uh, because it's so thin and it's, and it's only an inch and a quarter tall, it's, it's very flexible. And what I found out ha was, was happening is when I put the, the holster on, it stayed put. It never rode out of my pants. But what I could do was easily slide it around my waist and readjust it if I needed to. This was kind of convenient, but it's, it, I, I often found myself just kind of reaching over and repositioning the, the holster after moving around a bit. Um, not, a, not a really big deal, but just a minor inconvenience. And what really annoyed me was I have... Uh, a Droid X. It's a Android smartphone. It's relatively big, and I have uh, an OtterBox case on it, which is massive. And the uh, the case comes with a belt clip, which is about this size, and the phone snaps into it. Now, when I went to with with the gun on my strong side, I would put my phone on my weak side, and I would always fight with my belt to get the to get the clip the phone clip on it because it would twist and it was just a, a real headache to, to get the, the phone on. I would end up reaching over with my right hand to steady the belt and then apply the clip for the, the phone. Well, you know, it was kind of annoying, but it wasn't an, uh, annoying enough to make me go out and spend 50 to $80 on a good quality gun belt. And it wasn't until I was on the XD Talk forums one day when I saw a thread entitled something along the lines of Amish gun belts and you know with a top with a subject title like that it really grabbed my attention I, and I went inside the thread and I started looking around and here it was for these uh, these Amish belts that were being offered by Hanks clothing so I, I went and I checked out the belt and you know, a, a large portion of the sizes from like 28 to 46 or 48 or something was uh, $29. The larger sizes went up. So for $29, I'm looking at this this uh, this gun belt that is getting these really good reviews for uh, from concealed carry users or from people that have uh, that carry concealed. And I thought, well, you know, that's that's much less than the fifty to eighty dollar target zone that I was looking at. I might as well give it a shot and and give it, you know, give it a try and see if it works for me. So that is what I did. I wound up ordering the Made in the USA Amish gun belt, or it's a, not actually a gun belt. It's just advertised as uh, an Amish belt. Whether you can see the whether it'll focus this time or not. It's, I feel like such an amateur when it won't focus and stuff. There we go. And it's a real heavy belt. It's got a buckle that's replaceable. Uh, take it out with the screws, put whatever buckle you want on it. And I was really impressed with just how thick it was. Um, even though it probably doesn't measure a whole lot more than my target belt, it, it is definitely heavier. It's, it's much sturdier. It doesn't have as much flex. I mean, I can twist it and stuff, but it, it's nothing like uh, the target belt that just kind of flops around. And it's uh, it's an inch and a half tall. So what happens is it, the holster actually fits in fits the belt, or the belt fits the holster. So the clips engage it really well. There's not a whole lot of play, and it holds the you know it holds everything much more solid. And I get no slide uh, with this belt. Um, that's kind of an annoyance a little bit. So, if for, if I'm if I just throw it on and I go to walk out the door, and it doesn't feel like it's sitting on my hip just right, I have to loosen the belt so that I can slide the holster around, which is good because once it's locked down, it doesn't move, uh, it doesn't ride up. The the belt cinches really tight, and even wearing it for a couple of weeks now, I'm not seeing any of the sort of stretch that I was getting out of the cheaper belts. And I've been just really, really happy with it. Um, it, it probably the best $30 I've ever spent on a belt. And j judging by the way it's constructed, it really feels as though it's going to last for much longer than the one year life that I was getting out of all these other inexpensive belts. And uh, even the, the 28 ounces of the gun, which gets more heavy or gets heavier when you add ammunition to it, um, it, it carries really well. 
and I'm not getting much sag. Actually, I don't think I'm getting any sag at all out of the belt when I cinch it up and I'm ready to go. Whereas with the other belt, I was kind of getting some play, and again, it was, and the holster was sliding around a little bit. So for $30, I, you know, I was just really, really happy with the belt. Uh, it comes in black and brown, and it also comes in black and brown with uh, sort of like a scroll work design on it. Um, I think they're eagles or something. I, I just went with the plain Jane black belt. Uh, you know, it matches most of the stuff that I wear. Um, in the event that I need a brown belt, I am definitely going to order one from Hank's Clothing, and I'm going to get the same Amish belt in brown. I've just been very, very pleased with it. And uh, that about covers, you know, the belt. There's not a whole lot to talk about. I mean, it's, it's a belt. So, uh, I'm going to put all this stuff away that I've got, like, thrown all around. And uh, relight my cigar. And until next time, happy smoking, happy shooting, and I will catch you later. This is the part where I puff on it, but it's out. <laughs> <laughs>